and welcome to a common craft video of the Second Amendment done by Cameron Hastings, Travis Clark, and Josh Sylvia. So let's start with the history. In 1791, the Second Amendment is ratified. James Madison proposed gun ownership rights to a select committee, founding fathers, and they all agreed to pass it because they believed that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And then in 1822, Bliss vs. Commonwealth brought individual right into question. Bliss was caught carrying a concealed sword within a cane and was convicted and fined $100. Bliss appealed the conviction saying that the right of the citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves and the state shall not be questioned. In a majority vote, the court overturned the conviction against Bliss and ruled the law unconstitutional, bleh, unconstitutional and Bliss won. Got his money back. And in 1871, the NRA, also known as the National Rifle Association, was founded by a group of Union soldiers in order to promote the shooting of rifles. Yeah, rifles! They didn't know it, but it eventually became the 20th century uh, pro-gun lobby of the 20th century. In 1934, the National Firearms Act was passed in the response of the rise of gangster violence. They controlled firearms through a tax, $200 for each gun sale, and the National Firearms Act targeted fully automatic weapons, short-barreled shotguns, rifles, pen and cane guns, and other firearms defined as gangster weapons. In 1938, the Federal Firearms Act required licenses for dealers, gun dealers, had to get licenses to deal guns. In 1994, the Bradley Act and Assault Weapons Ban uh, were passed. The Bradley Handgun Violence Protection Act required a five-day waiting period and background check for the sale of handguns, while also requiring a national instant criminal background check system to be checked. And the assault weapons ban made it so you cannot get assault weapons. You can't buy them. No assault weapons. But in 2004, Congress refused to pass a reauthorization of the assault weapons ban and that allowed the ban to expire. So then you could get assault weapons again. Gun laws in Massachusetts. Rifles and shotguns. For them you need an FDI permit and you do not need to register the firearm, but you need to have a license to own it and a permit to carry, which is the FDI. For handguns, you need a permit to purchase, permit to purchase it you do not need to register any handguns, but you need a license to own and carry it. And all, and police uh, rec record all transfers. For purchase, you need the correct card and license for for each per for each gun you purchase. It is unlawful to sell any firearm that any firearm for, to a person that does not have the right permit or license, permit or license. 
an alien or non-resident cannot purchase any any ammunition or handguns. The seller must report a sale with the executive director of Criminal History Systems Board within seven days of the sale. You cannot, dealers cannot sell guns that have not passed a te performance test. And gun dealers are required to post a sign that says it is unlawful to store or keep fire a firearm, rifle, or shotgun, and machine gun in any place unless that weapon is equipped with tamper resistant safety devices or stored it or kept in a securely locked container. Possession. Firearms and feeding devices for firearms are divided into classes. Firearm Ident Identification Card or FDI, Class A license and Class B license or Class A or B license. In FDI, you can purchase, possess, or carry only a non-large capacity rifle or shotgun. A card holder may possess any large capacity firearm, handgun, r rifle, or shotgun at a gun club which an A-class license has been issued. Carry Class A license. You, you, it is required to purchase or carry any capacity firearm, handgun, rifle, or shotgun. The card is given to a person who is at least 21 and is seen to be a suitable person. Restrictions may be placed on the license. Carry B, li carry B carry license licenses entitles the licenses per to possess, purchase, or carry any non-large capacity handgun and any large or non-capacity rifle or shotgun. Carry, carry class A or B license. Either A or B license shall be valid to possess, purchase, or transfer large capacity rifles and shotguns. Applicants for a card or license must be fingerprinted. The card or license is valid for no, no more than four years, and the fee to renew it is $25. Non-residents. A non-resident may possess a rifle or shotgun in mass if they are hunting or in possession of a valid hunting license when firing on a shooting range while traveling in or through mass if the rifle or shotgun is unloaded in any case. Machine guns. It is unlawful to possess a machine gun without a license. Miscellaneous provisions. Although personnel in the military and other peace officers are exempt from the above requirements, it is not applicable to any private or sporting use of such rifles, shotguns, and handguns. Air guns and BB guns are regulated by the above provisions. It is also unlawful to sell, possess, or transfer any firearm that does not resemble a handgun, short barrel, rifle, shotgun, or shotgun, and is seen by a x-ray or metal detector. In Boston, there's additional provisions for Boston because it's a dangerous place. In Boston, under a vague law, it is unlawful to possess, display, transfer, or receive without a license granted by the Boston Com Police Commissioner. And that's it. Here are the federal gun laws. Travel and interstate commerce with firearms. A person is entitled to transport a firearm for any lawful purpose from one state where his firearms possession is legal to another state where his firearm possession is also legal. Handgun possession. A person under the age of 18 is considered a juvenile under federal law and may not possess a handgun or handgun only ammo. Long gun possession. A person of any age may possess a long gun rifle, considering a rifle or a shotgun.
purchase of a long gun from a non-licensed or a non-gun dealer who resides in the same state as the purchaser is legal. Ammunition is considered a non-prohibited person may acquire ammo in any state from a FFL or a non-licensed dealer. Here's our position on what should be done about guns. We believe that guns are good because they allow you protection from bad guys and they also allow you to have fun. You can go skeet shooting, you can go target shooting. It's considered a sport and people enjoy doing it. You can go hunting, which is also good for the environment because it lowers uh, wildlife population to a safe level. But we do believe that there should be um, a few restrictions. Uh, we believe that there should be um, a ban on assault weapons or reban assault weapons. And we believe that there should be an age limit to when you can handle uh, guns. We believe that assault weapons have no purpose other than to kill quick. Uh, rifles are good enough uh, go to the firing range and their pis pistols and shotguns are good enough to protect yourself. You don't need an assault rifle to protect yourself. And uh, an age limit would uh, help protect young kids and people around them from getting injured or killed.